mirroring components tool can be used in two different ways. The first is to use the same part and mirror it with a plane. The second is to make the opposite hand version of that same part. Basically, the first will save you time because you will not have to insert a new part and remade it. However, the second will make the opposite version of a part, creating a whole new part. For example, the intake for Simbot Sideswipe was designed only for the left side, and then we used the mirroring tool to recreate the opposite hand of our model. SolidWorks recreated the part for that version, and we saved a lot of time by doing this. For the first example in this video, we will just mirror a part. First, we need to add a plane to mirror our part with. Go to the Reference Geometry tab and click on Plane. Make the plane one inch away from the face of our part, then close the feature. Now click on the Mirror tool in the Assembly tab. Click on the plane we just created if it is not already added. Then select the components you would like to be mirrored. At the top, click the blue arrow to move to the next section. It will show a preview of the mirrored part. Sometimes there are different ways it can be mirrored. You can change which way you want it to be mirrored by clicking on the arrows under the Reorient Components part. Once you have found the proper mirror version of your part, you can click the green check mark and finish the mirror. You will notice that the Mirror Component feature is added to the feature tree. Now close this part so I can show you how to create an opposite hand version of a new part. I will demonstrate this by creating the opposite hand version of Simbot Evolution's outside drivetrain plate. Again, create the plane for the mirror. For now, it will be 10 inches from the outside surface of the plate. Start your mirror by clicking on the Mirror Components tool. Select the plane we just created and then select the side plate. Go to the next section of the mirroring tool. This time, click on the Create Opposite Hand Version button near the bottom of the menu. Go to the next step in the mirror tool. It will create a new part in your documents. Now you can select how to rename this part by adding a prefix, suffix, or a custom name, or by placing the two parts into a folder of their own. You can then go to the next step of the mirror and check or uncheck anything you do or do not want to be mirrored with your part. You can also break the link to the original part, so any updates you make to the original will not affect the mirrored part. Currently, they will always stay as opposites, no matter what you change. Finish the mirror by closing the Mirror Components tool. If the template window pops up, you can just click on the template you would like this part to be made in. After you are done, you will notice your new mirrored component will be added to the feature tree. This tool can make creating your robot a lot faster, and I highly recommend using it while designing.